Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back. Let's play some more EU4. Um, going for our uh, big orange blob. <laughs> I still haven't thought of a good name for it because I can't pronounce any word Dutch words, so that's uh, not gonna happen likely. But in the last episode, we finished up a war with England. We declared a war on uh, Ost Friesland, which I'm pretty sure just means East Friesland, Friesland in uh, Dutch. Anyways. Uh, we are going to slowly but surely piece everybody out. Bremen is super salty that I just sunk his entire navy, and he might actually peace out right now. He will, and he'll even give me a little bit of money. Hmm. Ah, whatever, I'll take some money from him. It's fine. Get out of here, you turd. And that just lowers their men in the field. So, let's see here. I think we win this fight. Just to be safe, I will build a couple of mercs though. Just to be sure. So we'll wait on them. A couple of days. Alright, come up here. Uh, I wish this Bremen stack wasn't blocking. But I believe we're winning. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Ah, shite. We lost. So it looks like Munster also got attacked. No? Who's fighting up here? Oh, Brunswick? Just fighting in his land? Yeah. Well, that was unfortunate. So let's do a shift consolidate and... Uh, let's, con let's just get these guys out of there. We are going to tr need to merc up. So let's just do it. No point in putting it off, right? got low morale, but I think the monthly tick will do him good. And he's still pretty low, so we can actually probably... And they just got a disease outbreak. So that's actually ideal for us. Let's see how Udaldo does. Eh. We're gonna keep our other guy for now. Get a couple of good days out. There we go. They're broken, and they will now retreat. Lost a lot more than we did that time, so much better that time. Uh, Galray... We just need Galray to peace out, honestly. I don't... I would like to get him to annul some treaties, but it's not the end of the world if I can't. So we're gonna siege down these two little provinces here. Um, Gallery will now peace out. Do I have any war score against him? Because I'm gonna, I have to have him annul this treaty. That's that's the only requirement for that one. Nassau and Riga, Riga, really. <laughs> so Nassau is occupied in another war, but he will not. Peace out. Cool fact for you. Um, Willem the first of Netherlands. He was like the first. I think he was the first stadtholder of the Netherlands. The United Netherlands was uh, of the house. I think it was like Orange Nassau. So um, somehow they were affiliated. That's kind of cool. Let's uh, see if we can get that war score. Does that give us enough war score to make demands on you? It does, actually. But we want the shortest piece possible, so it's very tempting to take some other stuff from him. Realistically, I could just take Galray right there. Oh, what in the world? Are you kidding me? What the crap is that? How much dev is that? 18? 43? That's not so. You're crazy. Anyways, that's all we want. Just get out of that one. Our uh, money situation looks dire, but we're good. Reform desire is fine. I don't care about that at all. I would uh, rather not lose my lights. My tr uh, transports. Disputed succession in Pomerania and Brandenburg. I get a, he would be a really good ally to have. Um, I'm going to improve with him. It might not be fruitful, but I uh, at least want to ally him. So let's get our land siege back here. He's, we're going to end up having to wait on Friesland um, for East Frisia getting his land back anyway, so it's fine. I forgot to start my timer up anyways. So we might ramble on a little bit and take this episode a little bit longer than is necessary, but is it longer than necessary? I would argue certainly is not. So let's uh, switch you over to there. 
for this battle. Okay, cool. Let's actually just switch you back then. And uh, come over here and siege down Lubeck. Have to make our way over to Rega, we will. Rather not, though. Might not even have mill access, but... So, Hamburg and Loop. Ooh, jeez. Wild Hamburg stack appears. Um, this is totally fine, because we'll be able to take... What in the world? Hello, Galen Br Blight? Blight? Oh, right here. That's fine. We didn't lose anything. Um, anyways, what I was going to say is we're going to have him transfer trade power to us, which is going to be super good for us. Ooh, oh, I forgot war taxes. Oh, bitch. Lost a bunch of money from that. I'm really curious as to who's getting towed over here. It's literally right outside my window. Come on, win the siege, dude. Win the siege. How? Goodness gracious, a year and a half? Can't win a damn siege. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There you go, Oldenburg. Munster hiring Oldenburg to do our bidding for us. Very good. Before that battle starts, uh, looks like we're going to have to fight the battle regardless. Got to wait on these guys, so. Whoa. How are you doing? You're cheating. He's cheating. He's cheating. That's fine. I don't want to fight his navy anyways. Hamburg, you cheater. Give me your trade, money, all that stuff, and... Uh, And all of that alliance, because then I can work my way over there. That's actually really good. He is uh, also in that... Wait, what? The Genoan Trade League. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's fine. So... Hmm. Hamburg... Right, they're still getting siege down in another war. Really? They broke their siege. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I very well could start my golden era. I don't know. Generally, I find that it's best to pop your golden era when you can unlock mul when you have multiple idea groups going. So, for example, we're going to get another idea group here within the next like 20, 30 years. Also, I'm a big fan of it for the morale, so you can, when you're conquesting after absolutism drops, you can start just really plowing through it, and it helps with your maximum absolutism as well, so you have more absolutism while you're doing court and country, and the goods produced modifier is way better when you have a large country, so I think I'm going to trust my gut and wait. Hope that that is the right decision. He's sieging, I don't even have the, goodness gracious. All right, well, we're just going to speed five it now. Nassau wants out. Get you out of there. You... Really? Okay, there you go. Get out of the war, you dingus. Loyal to Savoy. That's not what I want. Why is my war exhaustion going up? All right, peace out of your war. Oh, wait. Bad. I swear. He's about to take it. He's really about to take it, and I'm going to lose my mind. All right. And these guys are about to... Uh, taking all this attrition, and I'm not even getting... Siege progress. If this war gets cancelled, I'm going to be so irritated. How long is our truce with you? 98. April 98. Um... Fine with me. How do you guys not have this yet? Just win the siege, dude. Win the siege. There. I don't want to fight this. This is bad for me. Let's get you guys over there. Uh, an heir to the throne. Albert? No. He's not very good, but... uh. You will be named Fuzzy in honor of Fuzzy from my Discord. The Fuzzington Bear, <laughs> Jacoba, is your mama. So, anybody who asks who's your mama, Fuzzy, your mama is Jacoba. Fuzzy, the British Dutchman. All right. Anyways, ooh, that's 
rather not lose, not take out a loan. So let's wait a couple months. There we go. Play one more if we can. There we go. Certainly take Miltech, and we won the siege. Oh wait, hey, what in the world? Is he a vassal? He didn't vassalize him. He just annexed Bremen. He just annexed the holy city. What's your aggressive expansion? I bet it's disgusting. Ah, eh, yeah, definitely. It's pretty bad. It's like literally right on the verge. Well, that's actually perfect for us because now Lubeck is the only people with an army. What we're gonna do? We'll piece you out. Fortunately, we cannot transfer his trade power, but we can transfer Frisian. Oh, we don't want East Frisian because we're just going to annex him. So let's just do that. But let's just say hypothetically we wanted to do that and make him a vassal. Oh, we could do that. I think I actually will. Because his trade would be super useful. So and if that's the case, then we're going to slow it down here. you guys all killed where are you going you turd get back here boy very good I don't think you have siege but I will send my cannons in and uh, it'd be really nice if you guys would come over here and kill those arm kill that Navy good even took a light you mad lad Phillips Hmm. Time to uh, turn that army maintenance down so I don't take loans, even though Riga's got an army still. Alright, cool. Speed 5 while we wait. Can't imagine that uh, Riga's going to send any men over, so... We're just waiting on this super long siege ticks because of revanchism. I will be so upset if he takes control, of, if he takes the occupation. I will be so genuinely upset if that's the case. He gave it to me. We're good. All right. Very good. So Lubeck becomes a vassal of Holland. I gain his full annexation and all of his money. Aggressive expansion is fine. Literally no overextension. I will get a, um, whatchamacallit, a unlawful territory demand. Our truce with you is up. Okay, so we're just going to do this. Oh, we can totally do this. All right, so we'll send you. And then we'll wait a couple of days, and then we will declare on you. He actually took all of that all of the little miners that I had. France will join. Sweden will not. So it's just super easy. This is actually perfect. Okay. And this will uh, obfuscate the uh, core there. So we won't get in trouble. We will go for... I don't know. Leinster? Now, ideally, I would have my um my army over there already but we don't and that's fine so let's get you guys here see if we can get them over into the pale asap and uh doesn't look like we're gonna get them there before he, la he gets his men sorted out dude you got a lot of an army over here let me see here actually if that's the case maybe landing men over here in airshire airshire would be better Definitely. Oh yeah, that's like almost his entire army. Well, this is this is ideal if we can lock his army over here in Ireland. Because he'll take a straight crossing penalty. So I'm, what I might be able to do is to bait him into this. So I'll have to murk up a bit. And we'll leave like a little one stack. Not a cannon though. There you go. Send you guys over there. We will murk up over here. By three mercs is fine. Provincial unrest in uh, here. Fine. Definitely take siege ability. So, 
Come on now. Come across. You know you want to. So, send you guys over here. Come on down here. So yeah, almost his entire army is over there. All right, we can't cross because we have our boats there. So this is actually a trip that I trick that I watched Flory do in his Ryuku Three Mountains World Conquest recently. Gonna get some rebels down there, which is a bummer, but I don't think it'll be an issue. So does he have a navy yet? He does have two heavies built. But I think as long as we, um, as long as we're doing this, we should be good. Head and detach. Go. So I will scorch the earth. It looks like he's not interested in crossing. Are you at war with somebody else? Ah, oh, damn it, he is. So this this blockade is actually stopping him from coming over. Well, this is that's fine with me, honestly, because then I will just uh, come out here, blockade that, and I will siege down his mainland. So why do I have such good war score now? Really, just from blockades. Uh, okay. Liege was granted electorship, huh? So who was eaten? Mines, Platinate, Trier. So Cologne, Augsburg is also an elector. So who else is Saxony and Augsburg are gone? Erzberg, look at you, looking juicy. And Civil War's back because we have low legitimacy because Yudaldo was not a legitimate heir, apparently. And our Fuzzy has a weak claim, so... Fuzzy, listen, you can have the next one. I gotta get rid of that. I hate to lose the prestige when I'm at war, but I think it's uh, it's necessary. Let's actually get our cannon down there with um, general, I suppose it doesn't matter. But if he were to jump on us with a stack, this is most of his army. He just sunk his army. Five heavies. Goodness gracious. So this would be really good because we can siege down basically his entire mainland and we got him stuck on an island over there. Quite literally. So I will keep. Hmm. Yeah. Commandant is dead. We'll go with morale. That's fine. I actually prefer morale early, early on in the game rather than this. Anyways, this is this is beautiful. This is a really good turn of events. In yesterday's episodes, I was mortified that we were not even going to be able to like succeed in our war against him so this is good um so is this the swedish war for independence and it's not going to last because sweden is going to lose so i wonder what his uh war exhaustion is can't see it oh give me a break come on now get that merc down there Oh, hey. Could get large people. You know what? Screw it. I'll just take I'll just take everything you got, man. I don't care about the truce. As long as you don't ally um the steel again, then we won't have any problems. So he would actually probably ally me. But I I'm gonna royal marriage him, royal marry him, and uh solidify that friendship. He'll be a very useful ally to have. Um, money's looking good. I'm going to send you guys over to uh, blockade that. As long as the Swedish War for Independence is going on, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot. Now, I don't have... I lost my claims on Kent and Sussex, unfortunately. But uh, I will probably still take them, just in case. And we're going to take probably all of Ireland. At least everything we have claims on down here. And like Kent and stuff. Ooh. Oh, that shouldn't be an issue, actually. Mostly it's with people that I have long truces with. And uh, most of them won't even be there after the next yearly tick. Should be good. Honestly, if I had higher prestige... Let's do that. Um, Very good. Who else is in this war? The Edge. Which France is going to handle handedly.
go ahead and do that actually. He's over with. He will fight my rebels for me. Thank you, sir. Not my manpower. I don't care. Alright, so Liege wants out, and I'm actually just gonna use him to farm for um, prestige. So we will get only four, man. Liege will gain negative 15 prestige. This is still fine. It's still two years worth of prestige, so I'll do it. Fine, so that will actually help out with our... Nope, oh, it literally doesn't change anything. Okay, cool. Doesn't seem right. I win a damn siege, please. Let's say that they are going to kill... Oh, I was going to say France is landing men. Right, so... I guess as long as we have this blockade, like, he's not going to do anything. Poor France just lost a bunch of men over there, though. How do you have so much war participation, dude? I've literally done all the work up here. Oh, because he had like a 30 stack sitting here on Kane, I guarantee it. No? Kong? I can pronounce that incorrectly. My apologies, my French French peeps. Okay. Okay, he's actually breaking the blockade over there. Okay, let's actually have you break off and go check the English chain, English channel. He's out of the... Mm -hmm. So he broke the blockade, so this is actually good for us because we can march you guys back over there. Let's actually do that here. Something sneaky sneaky. So this is Scorch still. So we're just going to have you guys come over here. We're going to have you guys... Go ahead. You can do it. Go ahead and cross. Yes, very good. I'd prefer it if France didn't blockade. Lock in. Very good. 28th of November. So it's good. And I will... Good. He's gonna take a two, a river, a straight crossing penalty. Go and just so he can't reinforce, you pull out like that. And his men are stuck over here. Somehow I'm going to freaking lose. Are you kidding me? How? How is that possible? Excuse me. His general's not superior. Dude, he just won from rolls, I guarantee you. He literally just runs one from rolls. I'm annoyed. I am quite annoyed. That is quite, quite annoying. Anyways. You can get a piece. So we will take it. I will take Kent just so we have a foothold down here. Um, so I don't have claims on it. So maybe I just take what I can from him. Yeah, it'd be it's a shame that I can't take his trade power. Hmm. And any money I take is gonna go mostly to uh, France, so I'm not gonna do that. Um. Buy a couple of favors from France. So. Very good. Um, whatever. You're an absolute freaking wiener. I cannot believe that he got that. Anyways, it's fine. So let's do that. We got our now now have our dev cost. I bet we could probably convert pretty soon here. Getting there. Thanks for your subscription, whoever you are. Um, absolute joke. I don't believe that. Anyways, get that sorted out, and we will now rival Denmark? Question mark? Sounds good. Cannot believe he won that. I, was, I wish I was watching it close enough to see exactly was what was happening. Um... Anyways, now that we're done with war, let's go ahead and ally Brandenburg. He will be a very useful ally here. Especially if we can 
if he goes Protestant and wants to start forming Prussia. Go ahead and turn... What in the world? Oh, <laughs> absolutely not. Get you guys out of there. Let's get you guys... Are already protecting trade. Let's get you guys docked up. And apparently, whenever Yudaldo dies, we will go under a, a PU under France, I presume. Yeah. Bit of a misplay. I should have had some spy network going with him this whole time. But I will do that. Um, so our name placement's pretty juicy, but need to also make sure I have a claim on Galray. So let's go ahead and do that. Speed five for a little bit. Um, apparently we're just n never gonna get a reform. I'm not gonna give up a stab for that. Do we have? We do. So let's turn that off. And that one. Probably should build one here in Ulster whenever we're done with that core, and I likely will. Uh, kill Darien separate. So I'm totally down to just raise the autonomy over here because this land is pretty garbo anyways. Um, so that'll handle those guys for now. Um, basically. Let's get you guys down there to handle that. And then this stupid civil war disaster is just going to keep popping up over and over and over again. Until we get our legitimacy issue sorted out. We will rival Gelray. So our PP is big for now, which is good. Yeah, as our war exhaustion ticks down, it'll go, it'll go away and it'll be fine. We're probably not actually going to have any rebels. Let's actually go ahead and just um, some of that. There we go. Good. All right, colonialism is here. We will promptly dev it up immediately. Um. Actually, I'm gonna wait until I can get admin tech and definitely mill tech. So I'll keep our trade power edict over here. Get a claim on you. That. And let's get a improved relations with you. You, I want claims on Kent. And I'm going to probably get a claim on Sussex as well. Ooh, 464, but he's weak. I'm, I'm actually going to take it. Jacoba? No. Oh, it's a female. Fuzzy, I don't know if you want to be a female. I don't know if you want to be a female. Let's go with Margareta. Fuzzy, you can have the next male heir. Oh, what in the world? Really? Uh, a lot of mo that's a lot of money that's a lot of money making that good money in those thick pockets a diplo power and a prestige I actually believe I have a half off spy network guy don't I, I do probably should have had you on this whole time half off yearly prestige guy five ducats I'm actually just gonna do it since he's so cheap we have such good money coming in a claim on Ormond hey like free claims looks like i'm at war with him again so desmond is beaten up on england for what england is ex desmond is excommunicated is that what that says <laughs> that's kind of good all right this is definitely a long enough episode <laughs> i think we're doing pretty good we have dutch britain over here which is kind of funny and then holland so things are looking good we are consolidating our region admittedly a little bit slower than i would like um but it's fine he has no allies, so as soon as our truce is up with him in a quite a while, we will be able to take that, and we will be able to click the button and uh, form the Dutch nation. We're going to have to wait on, you know, Diplo or Admin Tech 10, but we're going to have that here in about, you know, 15 years, so no biggie. Go ahead and rival Scotland. Doesn't matter to me. Um... I'll hold on to these. Oh. I don't know. I think I'll hold on to these for now and use the Diplo points for uh, deving. We can get to colonialism. Where did it spawn? Actually, I could have looked at that and I did not. So, should have. It is in Portugal. So, yeah, definitely going to dev it. It's going to be worth it, especially because we'll be able to dev over here for like... After we do these clicks and after we get you guys loyal... Uh, we probably won't be able to. Maybe. Let's see here. 
I think we can. I think we probably can. We'll see. Hope you guys are enjoying. 100 likes a day, and we'll keep the double daily uploads going. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Shout out to the 0.7% of my audience that is female. You guys rock. And uh, if you are not part of the Discord and you would like to, the, ding the link is going to be in the description down below, as well as if you'd like to support me via my Patreon page. It's going to be linked down below as well. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoe, and I will catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my top supporter on Patreon, Bloodbound92, as well as Udaldo, Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig, as well as others for your awesome support. I appreciate you very much. Got a couple of series over there linked on the right that I think you might like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.